Chickens are great at controlling pests on apples, they say. Well, that may be true. I guess if they eat the whole apple, there's probably not any pests left in the apple. Oh, the apples were looking so nice too. I don't know what variety this is. They're sure enjoying it. Yes, it's chicken food now. You guys are so funny. Hopefully they won't go to all the apple trees and eat all the apples. Oh, here comes some rooster competition. They love apples. Things don't always go great on the farm. You just have to go with the flow. Is this what the chickens want to eat? I guess this is how they're filling their bellies. They seem to be enjoying themselves. This is a persimmon tree. It looks Really good, but no flowers. I haven't had any flowers yet off of either one of my trees. Hopefully someday I'll get persimmons. There's our duck pool. There's some comfrey. That's doing good. And speaking of pests, I put various objects around this little apple tree to keep the deer away. The deer are a major pest for apple trees. And another thing that doesn't always go well is fencing. This is electronet fencing, and it works pretty well until the weeds start growing up around it. And this year was a disaster because our lawnmower broke down and we couldn't cut the weeds. So the weeds just totally engulfed the fence. There's a fence in there somewhere. So now I'm working on getting the weeds away from the fence, which is a huge chore. If I had to do it again, I would put up permanent fencing and not spend the money on Electronet. Although it did work good at first, it's a lot of labor keeping it in good shape. And each year it gets more and more stretched out, more strands broken. No fencing is perfect, but I'm not going to get any more Electronet once this is wore out. Oh. Hey, the chickens, I bet they're going to eat every single apple on there. Aren't you? This is Dark Eyes up here. She's pretty smart. She knows how to get things. Hi, Dark Eyes. She's such a pretty girl. Hello. Her mama was a Sumatra, and her daddy was half Americana and half Brabanter. So she's kind of a mutt, but she's really pretty, and she's really smart. And she's the only really friendly one out of that batch. Oh, going for the, well, it used to be a nice apple. Used to be a nice one. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, well, I hope you're, you're taking care of some apple pests at the same time. This is a young tree, so it's not really hurting the tree. Although I would have liked to have these apples for myself. I guess it's, it's not meant to be. And um, once the tree gets bigger, hopefully the chickens will have more apples than they know what to do with. Okay, this is Snowflake down here. She's an older hen. She has problems too. She has a, 
She's been laying squishy eggs lately, which happens with older hens sometimes. So we'll keep an eye on her. Her days may be numbered, but she seems happy right now. Hi, Snowflake. Yeah, she's a good forager too, but she's too heavy to jump up in the tree. Okay. Well, I'll say... Yeah, the rooster's tidbitting. That's what they do when they find something for the hens. Look what I found, he's saying. Some goodies. Come and get it. Snowflake has a bare bottom too. And she doesn't have mites. It's it's from her messy bottom and her feathers fall out. 